Hey everyone, welcome back to the studio. Glad you stopped back by. Today we're, we're working on the Star Wars Legion series, which is actually coming to a close pretty soon. I've got a couple more little things I'd like to take care of uh, as far as the Star Wars Legion. Uh, it's two armies that I'm tabling that, that I need to get done, and I'm almost there. Um, so, but we have I've got the new Shatterpoint from a friend Malfactor who's bringing that to the studio, and we're going to get some of that on the channel. Looking forward to that. I've heard some good things. Also, we have Deep Rock Galactic. Uh, that we're going to be uh, painting here real soon. Uh, I'm really looking forward to that because we're going to dabble in the fluorescent lighting paints. We're going to get into that a little bit and make these things really vivid because it's, it's just perfect models. They're bigger scale. I think it'll work out really well. Anyway, guys, this week we're going to be doing the Emperor. Uh, a real simple paint. Uh, it's going to be black and blue. I mean, we're going to use that as the base for the for the cloak. Real simple stuff. Uh, his skin, his skin's got pasty already. Pretty much done. If you, it's hard to see, but there's the model. All right. So black and blue cape, paste skin. You know, pale skin and a staff. This is going to go real quick. So uh, stay tuned. Uh, please share the uh, share the, the the videos. It really helps. Uh, subscribe. It really helps support the channel. I'll see you guys in there. We're gonna start off with uh, the the blue. Uh, what is this? Dark gray blue and coal black mixture for the base. So. Went ahead and made a mixture with the black and the the this the, the gray blue. We came up with this, and this is very very watered down. And this is going to be the base for the emperor. I may even darken that down. That looks a little brighter than it is in person, actually. It's actually a lot darker than it thinks. Let's just get a little more black in there. How about that. Yeah, that's better. All right. What I'm doing is uh, I'm just kind of going over and over and over real thin layers, you know, like we usually do. I thought I'd stop and, you know, talk about that. You see me do it all the time, and it's just it's just thin layers, and I'm going over and over until I get the opacity that 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 I'm looking for, or the transparency that I'm looking for. Take your time. This is a real quick paint, so you can take advantage of of the time here. That's a nice color. Alright, let's keep trucking. There we go. We've got uh, a little bit of that black and that, that blue. You can see it just kind of sheen off the off the areas there, off the higher areas. That's our base coat. Looking good, looking sharp. It took me quite a few layers. I had to work at it a little bit. Uh, back and forth with with the color, um, but that, that that's looking really nice. Uh, I'm, I'm really happy with that. It, I'm hoping it catches that that blue in the uh, in the camera. But I'm actually going to go back and take a tiny bit of real blue and, and mix it in with the 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 base mix, and then do the highlights. And then I decided to do something a little special here at the hand. I think. Uh, we're going to end up doing a little airbrush thing right here. But anyway, that, that that's for later. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some rubber right in here for his belt and his uh, insta on the inside of his clothes. Uh, so it'll give it a little bit of a tiny bit of a contrast between the cloak and, and the clothes. All right. Now we've got all the base down. I've got the inside of his cloak. I did the rubber, rubber highlight. I even added a little bit of a white mixture into the rubber highlight uh, to give it that. It looks really nice. Real simple. And, and you, the blue is real subtle in the cape or in the cloak. So I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to touch up that brooch and I may touch up the skin. I'm gonna do the staff, and then when I get all that done, we're gonna go ahead and do a little uh, little uh, airbrush work on this hand right here. All right. I took some of the, the dark gray blue, 
just pure and I watered it down really really well I mean really heavy watered it down and then I just went around and I did some of the edges here just a little bit just to give it that that little blue look just just a hint I may even do a couple little spaces like right there and then do some maybe on the top maybe on these folds right here a little bit right there a couple more passes and, and I think we're done with the blue and then we can move on to the the cane and then the brooch and then the skin and which will be real quick actually once we get this uh, cloak done and then we'll move on to the airbrush we're good cloak complete down I did some uh, uh, some agrax earth in some of the, the the crevices on the cape nothing much I watered it down extremely thin where you could barely see it and just did several layers I didn't show it because you know you see me do it it's just real light work in the, all the crevices I mean, extremely watered down so almost like you didn't do it but anyway you, you do it layer and layer and it starts to show itself but that staff looks pretty well I used uh, what I use I used uh, mahogany and light umber and I actually used a little bit of white to uh, brighten it up in some in the, some of the higher areas there. So, and I did the brooch in um, what was it? Rubber highlight, rubber and rubber highlight, and then I did agrax earth. So, I couldn't tell if it was gold or silver or anything like that. So we just went ahead with a metal. And now I need to actually. I'm gonna. I decided to go ahead and do the eyes. I'm gonna attempt doing the red yellow in his eyes and I think that'll leave his face as is white skin and, and that'll really make it pop and then uh, we will use the airbrush for some special effects I got going on. Alright, let's do it. Here I'm going to take some ivory and I'm going to do some of the knuckles. I'm actually going to mix ivory with white, believe it or not, to give me just a bit of a highlight for the for the knuckles where they're not just bright white. So I would like to do that right there, right there. Get the knuckles. See, that looks really nice. We're pretty much there. Ended up doing those eyes. Those eyes were a little more work than I thought, but I did get the red and the yellow in there. They, it looks really, really good. I, I'm happy with that. Um, so he's pretty much done. I mean, he, he's ready for the table uh, as is. Give him a little quick little base and, and you know, a matte varnish and, and boom, he's on the table. But I think what we're going to do is, is we're going to do a little little, uh, little sp uh, airbrush work here. We're going to do OSL on his hand. Like like the force, like the force lightning is getting ready to come out, like it's starting, it's starting to glow. That's what we're gonna do. So that's that's the special airbrush surprise at the end. I think it'll look really terrific. We'll just do a real subtle. We'll get some white ink and we'll lightly spray just kind of a glowy area right here, and then we'll get some uh, some some blue ink and I think and we'll just touch it up and it'll look really good. All right, let's do that. Went and painted the hand uh, with some of the purple and the uh, was the uh, faded ultramarine. I, I mixed those together to get just a fade, and then I touched it up with white. Keep zooming out there. I touched it up with white. Now I'm going to give this bit just around here, just a tiny bit of glow, like the lightning, the force lightning is getting ready to ignite. So we're going to go ahead and do that. I didn't do all the the hand on camera, but it is a mixture of purple and faded ultramarine and then I ended up doing just white it's hard to see I'm sure sorry about that but it's that hand alright so let's get the airbrush just a little bit of OSL and base him and we're done got the 
white ink down for the OSL for the base of the OSL. Now all we got to do is pick our color of ink uh, or color of paint we want to water down and mist over that to give it the glow of the force lightning. I haven't decided what color to pick for that so stay tuned. I have no idea. Uh, I've got these three. Possible. Possible. Maybe one of those. I don't know. I will decide and I will throw it down. That will be the next step. All right, let's do it. Came down to contrast, Magos purple or purple. Pro Krill or Citadel. And I think I'll just go ahead and use Pro Krill. I like the Pro Krill. This is a little light, but I think it, oops, I think it'll work out. What do you think? Just for some flair, right? Just for some pop. Just for some color. Let's do it. camera I went ahead and did some I don't know was playing around with some electricity on the glow and, uh, looks pretty good looks all in all looks really great I'm, I'm happy with it that purple turned out really nice and I used uh, it's still drying a little bit I used uh, some purple shade to put in the crevices in the hands a little bit to dull it down a little bit and I think I may go back and actually while I have you on camera right here I'll come over here and touch up just the white spot, electricity. Brighten that up real quick. There. Done. All right, he looks pretty good. Uh, we just got that base on there and then uh, that should do it. The Emperor. There we go, the Emperor, Darth Vader's boss, ruler of the galaxy. Check him out, look at those eyes. This guy turned out terrific, and I'm really glad I ended up doing the glow and, and the lightning. It really made the difference for this model. This color, this model was just, you know, it had no color. It was just, you know, the black and then the blue highlights, and maybe the eyes would, could have been the focal point, but man, it really just needed a color, and I, and I think this worked out well. Well, really there nice. you have it, guys. The Emperor from Star Wars Legion's Tabletop. What a cool little paint. I, I, that one was really fun. Real quick and simple. Uh, it, it, it let me, because it was so fast and simple, it let me, you know, go a little, that step a little further and do the OSL because, you know, I had the time and, you know, why not, right? Anyway, that, that the purple, I, was, I wasn't sure. I was actually going to go with the blue um, before I, I hit up a friend uh, about uh, um, what, what color I should do that glow. And, and he said purple, and it was the right color. It was spot on. That's what that's what was needed. Although the blue would have looked really nice, but the purple, the purple was right. Anyway, guys, please like and subscribe. It really helps support the channel. And I'll catch you next week.